All right, hey, so today I'm here to present new in SDK 12.0.1, we can now ingest the Cesium OSM building. So earlier this year, Cesium introduced a new asset layer called the Cesium OSM buildings. That's a layer of 350 million buildings worldwide. And we can now ingest this into SDK for one, visualization, and then two, actually doing analysis with this as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you, don't have a Cesium Ion account, you'll need to sign up for one. Uh, they're free to use as long as you're within the um, Cesium terms of use. So check those out. And then you'll come here and you'll go to the access tokens area. In here, you'll choose one of your tokens and then you can copy this token. You'll go into SDK then and we'll simply create a scenario really quick. All right, so once you have an SDK scenario open, you can just close the insert SDK objects window for the moment, and you can go to edit preferences. Inside of here, you can go to the data services tab, and you'll see a cesium ion entry here. If you double click on that, you can then click on this create a new access token and plug yours in. Now mine is already there, so I'm just going to leave that, but all you would do is hit that add, name it, and then insert your token here. So we're going to cancel out of that then, and we're going to go to the 3D window here and hit this globe manager, which is the globe with a like folder icon on it. And once we're there, we can click this add button and add a 3D tile set. From the hosted section then, we can change the drop down to cesium ion, and it will take a second to render in your list of all of your existing assets that are on your cesium ion account but we will choose the cesium OSM buildings down at the bottom. We will add this, and it will have added that 350 million building layer to our scenario now. The next thing we'll wanna do is, if we wanna use this for analysis, we can double click on the scenario and go to the basic 3D tiles page here and click add and follow those same steps that we did uh, to add it visually so we'll wait for this to render in, and we will scroll down and select the Cesium OSM buildings. We'll click Add there, and it will take a second to add this to our analysis capabilities, and then we're going to go about adding in a facility and an aircraft to kind of walk around. And now I'm going to quickly go to a city, so Vancouver, British Columbia is a good looking city. So if we zoom to Vancouver here, you'll notice that sometimes it will take a second longer to zoom to a city, and this is purely because we're rendering in all of the buildings while we're zooming to that city. And all of the terrain data is also going to come in. So we're going to wait for both of those two to come in, and we're going to zoom out here so that we can see all of the building data of downtown Vancouver here. So what I'm going to do quickly is throw this uh, facility over here on the side of this mountain, somewhere over here. And then I'm going to also plug in a new aircraft to fly along a river here, and we can see how we can add this for analysis. So we're going to say insert default for this aircraft. And if we zoom out here, we will then choose this aircraft and choose a couple of positions for it. So I'm just using the 3D object editing tool here to allow me to plug in a couple of different positions. I will go back to that aircraft and change all of the altitudes to zero kilometers so that it's right at the globe level. And then all I need to do is go to constraints and basic and there's a 3D tiles mask here. If I hit apply and okay, you'll see that now we're down here, we're going to be flying through a couple of buildings, and then we're going to compute access to this place object. For this, I'm just going to take off line of sight, which it is taking into account the constraints on the aircraft, so that is fine. And then we will compute access between these two objects. The access computation is going to take a second because it's pulling down all of these tiles uh, from the internet to actually compute line of sight against. But if we zoom into this aircraft, which 
is a little bit unrealistic because we have a jumbo jet flying down this low. But if we animate forward, you'll see that we lose access in between buildings. And I animated a little fast there, so I'm going to slow that down and then animate forward here. And you'll see each time that we pass through a building, we lose access and then we gain it back on the other side of that building. So being able to add these buildings in is going to add some urban context into your entire environment and you'll be able to make this work with terrain as well so that you can keep adding fidelity to your SDK scenarios and make your mission context more accurate. That's all I have for you. Thanks.